Hello, Ectosage here on the Sage channel, and Happy New Year! It's a brand new year, and it happens to be that the first day of this new year is a Thursday. And as per usual on a Thursday, Space Engineers brings us yet another fantastic update that was promised a long time ago. That's right, they've added programming to the game. So, first off, before you just hop into an old world, you have to make sure you have something turned on. So you can do New World... Of course, custom, and under the advanced tab, you'll see down here at the very bottom, I'm toggling it on and off because you probably can't see my mouse, the in-game scripts needs to be turned on. That way this will work. Now let's go ahead and cancel out of that. We can go ahead and also go to just the load world just to show that you can do edit settings, advanced, and make sure you go ahead and turn that on. In your old worlds, it probably already will be turned off. Oh no, it's on by default, so you actually should be good. So there you go, on all your old worlds it should be on by default, so you should be just good to go after all. Anyway, let's go ahead and load into a world and I can actually show you the programming stuff in the game. And here we are in the game. Now, a few things you need to know about programming. The language they are using for programming, I believe, is C sharp. It's C and then the number sign, poundy, thingy, I'm not much of a programmer. So there you go, you're gonna have to learn that or find codes online, which you will be able to share them at the workshop. And this block right here that we're looking at, if we were gonna go ahead and press G, you can see it's right here. It's this programmable block. And they have the large ship, or large grid as they call it, version right here, which is a pretty interesting thing. They got a very nice screen on it, some nice little details carved into it. And then they have the small ship one, which actually ends up looking very, very small and, well, kind of cutesy, actually. If you were to look at it, though, it's actually a reasonable size compared to your character. Pretty cool stuff. And if you were to go ahead and press K or an interact button on it, even T, I believe, works. No, okay, you gotta press K. You can see we got edit and run. Run will, of course, run the script. Edit will open up, and you can see that you have your stuff in here. You can, of course, do check code. So after you've written your code, you can check it to make sure it works. Remember an exit will, of course, remember anything you've written in there. So we can do... I don't really know much coding, so we can just do, hello, howdy, good day, my friends, hope you're having a happy new year. And of course, this isn't proper code, so it should, yep, give me a big error, and it'll show you the line you're on and all that. And you can, of course, see the line at the very bottom left if you're a coder, you know the gist of it. And you can see it'll show you which line you're on by clicking to different spots, so you can see my little blinky where your typing thing changing and the line thing at the bottom changing but of course check code that's not really anything proper so it's giving me hey this is what the hell are you doing but i can do remember code remember this and leave the editor window open so it's going to remember that's basically just saving what you already have up here so if i just press escape and go back into edit it's already there but of course i can do remember and exit at the bottom there and it exits it right away and then browse workshop because you can actually find these things on the workshop and i believe you can to a control a control c browse workshop button and then you can do create from oh okay then even need to do control a control c you can do con create from editor and the script that you have open in the editor right there will be saved into the script things and then as per usual you can do details on it rename it give it its own details here i believe actually that probably shows up after you publish it but then you can of course also go ahead and publish it to the Steam Workshop, which I'm not going to do right now because that would just be silly to have that up there on the workshop. And of course you can rename it from here and also just delete it and also replace from editor. So if I went to another editor and I click that replace from editor button, it would just go ahead and delete the copy, the howdy hello thing with whatever's from the other editor that you were looking in. Pretty cool stuff. And of course we can do browse workshop, which will bring up your workshop thing. And you, you couldn't see that, but it opened up the Steam overlay and you can see in there, there's a, well, there weren't any there right now, but I'm sure within a day or two, there'll be a bunch of them. And then refresh scripts is just like refreshing your blueprints on the screen. It'll of course refresh them just in case you have to re-download something from the Steam Workshop or maybe your Steam files aren't showing up here. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, let's go ahead and delete that. Just get it out of the way. I'll probably be getting millions of these just from the workshop considering that I'm not too keen on coding. I do a little bit for modding, but that's mainly just to get my blocks into the game. It makes my head spin and... The only classes I successfully failed repeatedly in college were coding classes because, dear God, my brain... It does weird things with that. Anyway, guys, that's it. A few, another thing you should note is that you cannot communicate between two separate grids at the current time. They have to be connected in some way, so you'll have to go ahead and put a block in there to connect them. That way, the computer blocks can actually, con or the programmable block can actually communicate with something else. It should also be noted that you can run a programmable block 
by going in here and of course clicking and dragging this down to a button control just like anything else you can have it to run there's no icon for that yet toggle on and off and then well just on and off on their own pretty cool stuff as per usual pretty damn nice stuff actually anyways that's about it for this update um yeah you, I, you can't even communicate through antennas right now i don't think but i'm sure in the future or maybe you already can i don't want too much the video that the devs put out didn't say anything on that but i bet you money that you'll eventually be able to use a programmable block to communicate through an antenna to other machines so a lot of automation coming in the future i'm sure people are going to be typing all sorts of stuff but man this stuff really does make my head spin i'm i'm, 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 I'm